Hello guys, and welcome to the Parrot Bebop review. Now the uh, Parrot Bebop, uh, it came out last year, you know, and, um, you know, around uh, mid-November, mid-November 2014, and it's been out for a year now, you know, and um, I had it for, you know, for almost a year, and, um, from 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 that time, you know, I have, I have only good thing to say about this drone. This is the this is the best drone you can buy for the holidays right now. You know, because it's got everything you need. The only thing you need is just the tablet. You know, an iPad Air or you know iPad Mini or even a um, you know even a fifth generation um, iPod. Yeah, but it comes with everything. It comes with the drone, um, extra propellers, uh, lens cap two batteries uh, and the data cable to transfer you know videos to your computer or laptop and the charger and you know the bebop drone um, has a 180 degree um, lens on it so and also it has software inside the drone where where it doesn't need a gimbal because because the only thing you have to do is just pan the touch screen and it will and it will go down um, you see the uh, software creates like a small image inside that 100 180 degree in, um, image and and it creates that little window and it leaves all that space um, in the computer software where, where, where you can just pan down pan up and down just like a gimbal you know without without the, without the use of a real gimbal so that's really amazing you know you know pair you did a good job on that one and the good thing about it is that it comes with two batteries so you don't, you don't have to worry about you know buying extra batteries and stuff because it comes with two right in the, right in the box and here is a uh, data cable where, where you can just transfer the memory and stuff and plus it's also very durable I mean I crashed this thing like many times and, and, and still stand strong so that's a really really good build quality it may look a little shoddy you know you know with the little velcro strap to hold the battery in but it's really sturdy you got you got to see it to believe it and it also has um, extra pellets just in case you break one of them so that's really good and there's a box I'm not gonna do an unboxing you know because you already seen that you know with so many videos but um after this video, I'm going to show up some uh, Bebop footage. See you later. I want to further explain the, the, the um, software, um, the image software in the Bebop drone and how, and how it can actually pan like down and up and left and right without a gimbal. You see, this is the uh, 180 degree image that's actually from the Bebop. But what you're actually going to see when you actually find the drone in video mode is the actually 94 or 93 degree angle of this, and what and um what what's really happening is that all of this right here is actually inside the Bebop software. It's just it's just showing you one part of it. What you what you what you can do with this is you can actually pan down and up, right and left. You can go like like um like like either way of any of these angles through 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 the Bebop drones image software, but it's actually showing you a part of this whole piece right here. This whole 180 degree image is just cut into a cookie cutter shaped design, and um and it actually gives you the illusion of having an actual gimbal inside your drone. Now take a look at this, you know, take a look at this diagram, and you'll and you'll see what I'm getting at. Because um, the Bebop Jones computer has all this information stored inside of it, but you're actually seeing this, this 94 degree or 95 degree angle. Um, so I forget it wrong, but this is really cool because you can actually pan down. You can look at the ground if you're panning down. You can look up the sky if you're panning up, and you can look to your right when you're looking right, and, we can, and you, you can look to your left when you're looking left, and that's how. And that's how the image software in the Bebop drone works. Cool, isn't it? I also want to explain the image stabilization software in the Bebop drone as well. 
you see um, if this if this baby is tilting down then 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 actual frame is going to be like steady and it's not going to tilt down with it because it's actually stabilized like an actual gimbal you see if this baby is tilted down like this the picture is going to like stay it's, it's going to remain stable like 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 a family picture frame if it's tilted up it's going to do the same thing it's tilted to the side either way it's going to do the same thing All right, I drew a diagram of what, what what's really actually happening. See, this drone is tilted to the left, and this is the image stabilization software. It's actually uh, keeping a frame in place while the drone is tilted. Same thing. Same thing goes for this one. It's tilted to the right, and it's in and, and the frame is still is still in a nice picture frame quality or quality, so you can get nice smooth aerial shots.